Hey, welcome to Evolution of a Horde Base Season 2. My name is Quill, let's get started. If this is your first time checking out the series, or you'd like a recap of how last week's build handled the Horde, stick around. But if you've already heard this part, you can use the chapters on this video to skip ahead to the build. This series is a step-by-step -step guide on building a Horde Base. If you're looking for something quick and easy, you may be disappointed. That's just not how I do things. This is a multi-stage project that will take some time to complete. Each week we'll expand on it a bit more, add some reinforcements here, sprinkle some traps there, and eventually we'll have a completed base. This won't be the cheapest build, and probably not the best or most efficient either, but that's not the point. For me, the fun comes from building something unique. Big or small, it doesn't matter. Think of it like playing with Legos. It's all about having fun and building something cool in the process. It might not be the best, but damn it, we'll have a blast doing it. This is the base we built last week, and this week we'll be adding to it. It ain't much, but it is sturdy. We ended the horde with a single broken block right above the doorway. During the horde, that wasn't much of a problem because of the double layer walls, so keeping it repaired was easy enough. With that being said, I messed up. The important part of this week's goal is upgrading the base to cobblestone. The problem is that some of the blocks that need to be upgraded can't be reached without breaking others. The blocks under this wall, for instance, are the support pillars. I should have upgraded those to cobblestone last week, but didn't think about it. In my defense though, I did say there may be some mistakes. Couldn't let anyone think I was lying. Well, there ain't no fixing it without breaking it, so let's get to it. Bottoms of the walls are gone, and we've got a clear shot to the pillars. Those and the blocks below where the wall goes needs to be upgraded before we start building anything. Once upgraded, the blocks will be covered up again, so to avoid ripping out the walls again later, I would suggest bumping up to concrete if possible. Since I'm holding off on concrete production until next week to mimic the new player experience, cobblestone is the best I can do. We've already used quite a few resources upgrading the base to cobblestone, so we'll keep this week's addition small and reasonable. Let's extend the foundation by 7 blocks towards the front. And while we're at it, I'm going to go ahead and add an extra row around the rest of the base just for good measure. I've marked three spots where we'll add four block tall pillars. Two spots line up with the support pillars on the ends, and the third lies in front of the doorway. These pillars will herald the first stage of our balcony. Why build a balcony? Why not?
Once those are set up, we'll connect the top row to each other and then to the base. Because I want the balcony to be spacious, I'm going to turn these into three block wide walkways with two 3x3 three three openings. With that done, we can work on the second stage of the pillars. Using the shape menu, swap to cube half and set it to on face. Line the first two blocks around each pillar. For the third block, swap to cube half trim split, set it to on face and plop them down. The trim blocks will be used later when we paint the base, but if you don't care about painting, feel free to use a cube half block instead. There's one more thing I want to add this week, and it's not really necessary. This one falls under the category of useless addition and only serves as an artistic choice, so feel free to disregard it. In the corners of each pillar and the base, I want to place a cube quarter block on the bottom and a wedge 60 tip corner top on the second block. That's it! Just a simple addition that doesn't do anything, but I like the way it looks. It's a little past noon on day 14. The horde will arrive in a few hours and I need to prep some traps. Before that though, let's talk about the elephant in the room. The balcony is ugly. Compared to what we built last week, to say it's lacking would be an understatement. As the next couple weeks pass, we'll add to it, but in the grand scheme of the build, the balcony is not where we'll want to focus our materials. It needs to be a gradual addition to avoid falling behind the rest of the base, but it can't take priority. The next parts of the build will be far more important. I know that can be disappointing, stretching out a portion of the build so it's done in phases means it's going to look like crap for a while. I mean, I'd hate to lead you guys on and say, just trust me, it'll look good later. If only there was some way I could show you what it would look like once finished, without giving too much away. It's a tough spot, you know? I'll figure something out. I guess what I'm trying to say is, just trust me, it'll look good later. After this week, we're going to shift gears. The first two weeks are catered more to the new player. Builds are kept mostly reasonable and use lower quality materials. That's not going to be the case anymore. It's time to ramp up production and that means proper preparation. These are my forges and workbench. Crafted them this morning so they can be fired up next week. This is my mine! It's a large 30 by 30 area that I'm slowly digging out. No worries if you don't have one this large, because it's not just for the base. I've got plans for another project that requires a giant hole in the ground, so it's a sort of two stones, one bird situation. So yeah, get yourself some forges, a workbench, and a mine. But don't worry, if you can't make concrete yourself, store-bought is fine. Buy a shit ton of it though, you're gonna need it. Well, I need to bounce back to my safe house for some ammo and gear before it gets too late. While I handle that, here's a brief breakdown of my perks and books.
All right, the horde's almost here, so let's go ahead and cover our weapons and armor. So, first off, I obviously don't have any armor equipped, but I did grab some whenever I was questing, so it's nothing special, just a couple pieces of leather. And for weapons, we've got our same wooden club from last time, as well as an upgraded pistol that I managed to get from a loot box. Can't really complain there. And the best part, I managed to get a nice double barrel shotgun, so fire two shots before you have to reload and the animation is so much quicker than the uh, pipe versions of both those weapons. Should you know shit hit the fan we can always come up top and once we bound out here to our nice little walk around or to our nice little balcony you can see we still have openings to everything the pillars if they decide to attack them the front of the base all that so yeah I think we're gonna be fine let's get in position You guys good? Hey there. Okay, I, I can work with this. This is so nice. Yeah, just keep running around, hit hit all those traps. Great work. Hey, you made it! Almost. Nope, nope. What about you? Can you do it? Guys, it is wide open over there. Come on, seriously? Alright, let's go take care of this bird. There we go. Hey, buddies. <laughs> well, that was very easy. Come on, guys. Keep on coming. What's up? Hey, leave that alone. Let's go ahead and save ammo just in case it gets worse later. This is going so much better than last time. Yeah, sure, I lost out on some experience from, you know, you guys run into your deaths on the spike traps, but that's all right. I'm okay with this. All right, get that dog gone. Get her. Not bad. Let's go and see if anything needs repairs. That's not too bad. Pretty good. Oh, I just realized I don't have any iron for repairing that hatch. All right, that's fine. We'll let them break in if that's the case, and if they do, we'll just go up top. Oi, oi, ha! Nice. All right, what did we get in that loot bag? Ooh, some ammo, some food. Oh, I can actually eat this. And just give me a second, guys. I need to eat this so we can scrap it. Look at that. We got some iron for repairs. Well, I didn't get enough iron to repair everything, but that's okay. I can work with that. Go away. Let's see. Keep coming. You guys all right? Doing good. How was the ride over here? Pretty decent? Okay, that's good. Lost the block. It was my own fault, but that's okay. Let's go and repair that block. How are these guys looking good? That's good. That's good. That's good. That will probably break before the end of the night. No worries. Anyone else? No? I'm trying to break anything down over here. Oh! 
He was. But let's go ahead and make use of this guy up top. <laughs> How'd that feel? Pretty good? Oh shit! Oh shit, he's on fire! That is what I get for being a smart ass. Let's see if this loot bag has anything. No steel! Well, steel, no iron. Oh god, please do not break. Oh shit. Okay. Oh god. Oh shit, I'm on fire, I'm on fire! Heal up a little bit. How's that looking? All good? That's not too bad. What? What's the problem? You can't figure out where I'm at? See, the best part about this is once you do decide to go up top, because there is no clear path for them to get up here, they decide to just kind of hit everything. And that's not really too much of a problem considering that this costs a lot of blocks, so they've got to destroy a lot of crap for us to fall. Yeah, we are safe for the night. What am I doing? Throw that, because I don't need it. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Where is he? There it is. Pipe bombs. Oh, shit! <laughs> that thing went up high. Nice. Alright, here you go. Oh, I'm on fire. I can't even look at it. Okay, so they broke in. That's great. Because the other thing is, this works to kind of, you know, an easy spot to toss grenades down or whatever we need. We can still get them, but they're not going to climb up top because they don't know what to do. I mean, they're zombies after all. They're pretty stupid. Oh, stop shooting wood with a shotgun, dumbass. That's all of them. Heck yeah, look at this. Oh, let's see, we lost some blocks here, we lost the hatch and the the uh, double poles that they had, but that's okay, not bad. Let's see what it looks like on the other side. Yeah, nothing was broken over here except for these spike traps. All right, there we go, it's morning time. Awesome. Well, this is gonna be where we drop it off for this week. I'm gonna go ahead and head back to my base, get started on mining some stuff, and we'll pick this back up next week where we upgrade the rest of this to concrete if possible and expand with our first set of traps. Well, you guys have a good one. If you enjoyed this video, consider leaving a like. It'll help grow the channel. Got a question about the build? Leave a comment here or on my Discord. I'll try to answer any questions that pop up. And if you're interested in seeing this project unfold, subscribe to stay up to date. As always, my name is Quill. Y'all have a great day.